Our big story this morning, the debate over reopening schools has been a heated one across our state. In Cape Creek, students at Cactus Shadows High School were forced to stay home because of a lack of staffing. But now it looks like Cave Creek Unified Schools have figured it out, at least for now. Team 12's Jen Wall is live in Cave Creek for us right now. And Jen, what can parents out there expect to see this week? Yeah, good morning to you guys. So one more day of quiet classrooms here at Cactus Shadows High School, as well as an empty parking lot. But after that back and forth over the return to classes in person here at Cactus Shadows High School, students are expected to return in person tomorrow. Now, as for today, well, they will continue to follow their distance learning model. That's all according to this Facebook post from the school principal shared yesterday. Now, even though students can return to in-person classes tomorrow, it does appear there could be some modifications. Now, the post says tomorrow students will go to classes with all available teachers and substitutes. If coverage is not available for a classroom, Principal Tony Vining posted that the students will go to supervised areas to finish work given by the absent teacher. This all comes after classes were supposed to resume in person today here at Cactus Shadows. But the principal shared a previous Facebook post on Friday, citing lack of staffing as the reason for the delayed return. Now, keep in mind, this is just for Cactus Shadows High. Other Cave Creek Unified School District schools are expected to return in person on schedule today. Stay with 12 News for updates. For now, we're live in Cave Creek. Jen Wall, Today in AZ. All right, Jen, and Cave Creek schools are not the only ones reopening this week. The Higley Unified School District, students will be back in the classroom over there beginning today. Obviously, with the school year beginning, safety is a top priority. The school will have daily health screenings. Students and staff are required to wear masks, and physical distancing measures are in place. Jay O'Combs schools will also reopen today, we're told. The school board was forced to figure out a plan after teachers staged a sick out last month. Well, ASU is off to a rough start with a spike in confirmed cases. New numbers show there are more than 800 confirmed COVID-19 patients. More than 200 students are currently in isolation. Something to note, though, ASU does have more than 74,000 students. Happening today, Grand Canyon University students are logging in for their first day of school. Officials say GCU will remain online for at least the first three weeks of the semester. Then students will begin a blended model of in-person and online learning. At last check, around 4,700 students opted to take the entire fall semester online. 